One significant question that the decision of the federal government of Nigeria to celebrate the centenary anniversary of the amalgamation of the southern and northern protectorates of Nigeria by the British colonial administration is, in the midst of security challenges, unemployment, corruption, nepotism, among others, is there any cause for celebration? It is uh, good for us to celebrate it because it, is, uh, it was a period of uh, interdependence and existence in this country. So let's say, you know, uh, Nigerian country has a di diverse ethnic and whatever, but uh, uh, let's say all we are one. Today we have so many reasons to celebrate because uh, existence of democracy and then so many achievements too we have uh, within this period. Uh, even though there are so many challenges uh, as to uh, the, the way the country is moving, as to the development and so many other issues, insecurity, terrorism and all that. Uh, but at the same time, we need to celebrate. In experiencing so many changes in terms of politics, military takeovers in the country. And you know, any of them that happen, you must learn from both sides. That is what is happening and what is yet to happen. According to them, democracy, which has taken a firm root in the country, is another factor that should motivate or inspire Nigerians to celebrate the centenary. Be that as it may, they stress the urgent need for the people, especially leaders, to refocus and re-engineer efforts at nation-building. They opined that rather than a change of name for the country, as some parties are agitating for, attitudinal behaviors should be looked into with a view to changing them positively. We are supposed to change our habits, our way of our, our behaviors. That is the way we are handling public issues. It's what we are supposed to change, but not the name. The name, the name doesn't mean anything. Because whether you change the name or you don't change the name, if your behavior remains, that change doesn't take place. But then changing the attitude, our own mindsets, our behaviors will now uh, bring about change, you know, in the country. Change the name of the country does not matter. It's, it's not a matter, but to change our attitude. Let's uh, meet together and uh, solve our problem by ourselves. So this country uh, need to be uh, need to be reconciled and uh, put this country forward. It could be said that a change in attitude has the potential of replacing people's pessimism with optimism. Sama Modedan, Motel News.